The Air Traffic and Navigation Services company is uh, responsible for airspace management uh, in South Africa and uh, the Oceanic region, of which is a, is a delegated airspace by the International Civil Air Navigation Organization. That covers, of course, the 10% of world's airspace, and uh, it's approximately 22 million square kilometers, which is the land space of South Africa, and the oceanic space, which uh, goes to the right about halfway towards Australia, and also about halfway towards Brazil and right down to the South Pole. So uh, anything that flies in that space, in the control space, is under the jurisdiction of ATNS. Locally, uh, ATNS was formed in 1983 uh, as an entity at the same time with our sister company, which is AXA. When we started then, it was, I think, only about around 300 employees. Today, we are just over 1,000 employees. So over the period, we've created about 700 plus, 700 quality jobs, which is air traffic controllers, engineers, and of course, the support functions of the industry. Over the period, we have grown and to be recognized as a leader in the industry globally. We are called on several occasions to participate and uh, our voice is heard and is important globally. Today, uh, ATNS through myself as CEO is holding the chairmanship of CANZO, which is the Civil Air Navigation Services Organization. And that is something that is, uh, is elected by, uh, positionally elected by the members in the continent, which also shows the confidence that even our counterparts elsewhere in the continent have faith in what we're doing and services that we're providing. We've expanded our services, not only in South Africa, to go beyond the borders. But one of our key or major achievements was to address the issues of safety in the continent where we deployed what is a satellite network which we use and the countries use to communicate between themselves and also to transfer data. That network runs from South Africa right up to Cairo, to Yemen, to Saudi Arabia and is managed by ATNS. And uh, it's been seen as the first in the world that we did that. And it's been recognized now as a solution even into some other areas of the globe. Innovation, knowledge management, um, technology are at the heart of uh, ATNS's uh, uh, strategic agenda. All those areas in some way or another are reflected uh, in what we call our strategic uh, business concept. We're in a very uh, technology-driven environment as ATNS. Technology dictates the way in which we, we operate, the efficiencies that we can realize the best operational practices that we can uh, deliver, uh, all focused on delivering and ultimately the most optimal air traffic management solution to our client, to the users of our service. Innovation also is a huge area of focus for ATNS. We recently uh, hosted uh, the AVI Afrique Innovation Summit, and this summit is an initiative started by ATNS three years ago, this was the third summit. And the whole uh, objective of this is for us as an industry player in the aerospace aviation sector to bring together thought leaders, to bring together researchers, technology experts from various strata of the aviation and even beyond the aviation sector who are interested in research and development, innovation. And to begin to use this forum to better help drive efficiencies in our area, the aviation sector and also the broader transport area. Technology also, very closely linked, as I've just said, plays a huge part in ATNS's business model and delivery of services alongside, of course, adequately and properly trained human resources who, with utilizing a combination of technology solutions, both on the communications, navigation and surveillance areas combined to then produce ATNS's uh, product and service offering, which in the main for us is to carry through our mandate as mandated by our shareholder, the National Department of Transport, to provide uh, efficient air traffic management services within the borders of South Africa. But apart from this, we manage VSAT communication networks 
on behalf of member states as part of a, a VSAT project that was started just over a decade ago. There's the SADC VSAT Communications Network and the NAFISAT Network. And this initiative has contributed immensely to improving safety and the safety level and the ability of uh, linking various air traffic service units through the technologies that are employed. We offer training in various disciplines, air traffic services, engineering services, training, and other softer areas, safety management courses through our Aviation Training Academy based here in South Africa. And that is a, a vital infrastructure in the context of continent and trying to improve manpower capabilities. Apart from that, we offer other end-to-end -end solutions based on requirements that our counterpart stakeholders or air navigation service providers or civil aviation authorities or airport authorities would require. And they range from billing aeronautical information systems to safety management systems and a host of other services. The aerospace and aviation infrastructure and networks play a critical role and are going to play an increasingly critical role to linking economies regionally on the continent. As one of the modes of transport, aviation will play a critical role or will be the backbone through which you are able to enable and stimulate economic growth on the continent alongside, of course, other modes of transport in moving passengers and in moving cargo. ATNS sees its role as being a catalyst to driving and assisting our shareholder, the Department of uh, Transport and the broader national government of South Africa in achieving its developmental objectives.